The trapezium rule. Sometimes you might wish to find the area under a curve, but you are not able to integrate the function. In such circumstances, the trapezium rule comes to your rescue. Basically, you chop up the area you wish to find into a trapezia, with sometimes triangles at the end. The height of each trapezium is horizontal, and the difference between consecutive x values. The parallel sides of each trapezium are the y values. Since each shape is a trapezium, even a triangle is a trapezium for which one side has zero length, when we add them all up, we can factorise to make the process more efficient. So individually we have all these separate trapezia, which simplify to a equals half h, then y0 plus two lots of y1 plus y2 plus all the way to the penultimate one, y n minus 1 plus y n. So h is the height, the difference between consecutive x values, and you can see from the individual trapezia that y1 and y2 appear twice because they are shared by two trapezia. That explains the appearance of the two in the simplified formula. Ordinates versus intervals. It is necessary to understand the difference between ordinates and intervals, since you could be asked to use either. Basically, the ordinates are the individual x values, and the intervals are the spaces between them. There is always one more ordinate than interval. Ordinates and intervals are analogous to fence posts and fencing. In this diagram, there are seven fence posts, the ordinates, and six pieces of fence joining them, the intervals. Example. Consider the curve y equals 42 minus x over x. Find the area enclosed by the curve, the x-axis, and the lines x equals 2 and x equals 14, using six intervals. The gap from 2 to 14 is 12, and has to be shared between the six intervals, so each interval has a width of 2, i.e. the height of each trapezium is 2. Note that the six intervals in the question could have been given as seven ordinates. Now substitute each of the seven x values from 2 to 14 into the equation of the curve, as shown in that table. And now we can substitute into the formula. So a equals a half times 2 for the height, then 20 plus 2 lots of 9.5 plus 6 plus 4.25 plus 3.2 plus 2.5, and then finally plus 2, giving an area of 72.9. Note that by integration, the area would have been 69.7, so our answer is an overestimate, as would be expected from the shape of the graph. The end.